Hey folks, welcome to part four of our Microsoft certified HGR AI fundamentals ultimate course. We are starting with question number 40 in this part of our series. For each of the following statements, select yes if the statement is true, otherwise select no. And the first statement is a smart device in the home that responds to questions such as when is my next appointment is an example of conversational AI. Folks, this is a classic example of conversational AI. Conversational AI refers to technologies like chatbots, voice assistants, smart speakers that enable machines to understand, process and respond to human language. These systems typically use natural language processing and machine learning to interpret user inputs and provide relevant human-like responses. Next statement. An interactive web chat feature on a company website can be implemented by using Azure bot service. This is also a correct statement. Azure bot service allows developers to build, test and deploy intelligent bots that can interact with users through web chat, Microsoft Teams, Slack, Facebook Messenger and more. It supports natural language understanding through integration with the GR AI services like language understanding or conversational language understanding. Now friends, the third statement is automatically generating captions for pre-recorded videos is an example of conversational AI. This is an incorrect statement. This task falls under speech to text or audio transcription, which is part of speech recognition in the broader AI domain. Question number 41. You need to implement a pre-built solution that will identify well-known brands in digital photographs, which Azure cognitive services service should you use? Your options are custom vision, document intelligence, face, computer vision. Folks, you will need to use computer vision in this case. Computer vision is a pre-built Azure cognitive service that can analyze digital images and return information such as object, text, faces, scenes, and well-known brands. It includes brand detection as part of its image analysis capabilities. Now there is a link on your screen. Go through the link to understand more about brand detection feature of computer vision. Next question. Match the Azure cognitive services to the appropriate actions. Each service may be used once, more than once or not at all. And the three services in the question are custom vision, face, and document intelligence. Now friends, the first action in the question is identify objects in an image. Custom vision is used to identify specific objects in an image. You can train it to recognize custom categories of object based on your needs. Now the next action is automatically import data from an invoice to a database. Document intelligence extracts structured data from documents like invoices, receipts, forms, etc., making it ideal for automatically importing invoice data into databases. And third and final action is identify people in an image. Friends, Azure AI face service detects and analyzes human faces in images, including identification, verification, emotion detection, and facial landmarks. Folks, if you still have any doubts in any of the options chosen here, then please post them in the comments section. Let's look at question number 43. Which Azure service can you use as a security information and event management solution? Your options are Azure Analysis Services, Microsoft Sentinel, Azure Information Protection, Azure Cognitive Services. Now friends, Microsoft Sentinel is a cloud native SIEM solution on Azure. Sentinel provides intelligent security analytics, threat detection, real-time monitoring, automated responses to security incidents. It can collect data from multiple sources, including Microsoft 365, on-premise servers, and third-party tools to provide a centralized view of your security landscape. Next question. 
An app that analyzes social media posts to identify their tone is an example of which type of natural language processing workload. Your options are sentiment analysis, speech recognition, key phase extraction, entity recognition. Friends, sentiment analysis is the process of determining the emotional tone or opinion expressed in a piece of text. It classifies text as positive, neutral or negative, which makes it ideal for analyzing social media posts, product reviews or customer feedback to gauge public sentiment. Now friends, speech recognition converts spoken language into text. Key phrase extraction identifies the main points or topics in the text and entity recognition detects name, places, dates, etc. in text. Next question. Select the answer that correctly completes the sentence. A banking system that predicts whether a loan will be repaid is an example of which type of machine learning and your options are clustering, regression and classification. Now friends, clustering is used for grouping similar data points without labeled outcomes like customer segregation. So not the right fit for the given requirement. Now regression is used for predicting continuous values. So another incorrect choice here. This leaves us with the correct choice classification, which involves predicting category or label. It's used when the output is discrete rather than continuous. Question number 46. You need to track multiple versions of a model that was trained by using Azure machine learning. What should you do? Your options are explain the model, register the model, register the training data, provision and inference cluster. Now folks, in Azure machine learning, when you register a model, it is stored in the Azure ML workspace and each registration can be assigned a version number. This allows you to track multiple versions of the same model, deploy different versions for testing or production and roll back to a previous version if needed. Now option A, explain the model refers to model interpretability, understanding how the model makes decisions. Option C, register the training data helps track data sets, not models. And option D, provision and inference cluster is used for deploying models for real-time inference. Now friends, as always, there is a link on your screen. Go through the link to understand more about how a model registration can be done in Azure Machine Learning. Next question. You need to create a clustering model and evaluate the model by using Azure Machine Learning Designer. What should you do? Your options are split the original data set into a data set for training and a data set for testing. Use the testing data set for evaluation. Use the original data set for training and evaluation. Split the original data set into a data set for features and a data set for labels. Use the features data set for evaluation. Split the original data set into a data set for training and a data set for testing. Use the training data set for validation. Now friends, in clustering, it is a best practice to split your data set into training and testing subnets and train your model on the training data set and evaluate how well it performs using the testing data set. This ensures that your evaluation reflects the model's ability to generalize to new unseen data. There is a link on your screen. Browse through the link to understand how data splitting should be done in machine learning. Question number 48. For each of the following statements, select yes if the statement is true, otherwise select no. Folks, the first statement is organizing documents into groups based on different usage statistics is an example of clustering. Clustering is an unsupervised machine learning technique and this is a classic example of it. No predefined labels are used in this case and the algorithm discovers patterns and forms natural groupings in the data. Next statement. Grouping similar patients based on symptoms and diagnostic test results is an example of clustering. This is also a correct statement, friends. 
Patients are grouped based on their medical symptoms and test results, which helps in identifying common patterns or conditions. Now, the third statement is predicting whether a person will develop mild, moderate or severe allergy symptoms based on pollen count is an example of clustering. This is an incorrect statement. Predicting whether a person will develop mild, moderate or severe allergy symptoms based on pollen count is an example of classification, not clustering. Classification involves predicting a discrete label based on input features. This is a supervised learning problem where the output is a predefined category. So folks, I hope you are liking the content. Please make sure to give us a thumbs up if you are enjoying and learning something out of our videos. Let's look at question number 49. You plan to deploy an Azure machine learning model by using the machine learning designer. Which four actions should you perform in sequence? Train the model, split the data randomly into training data and validation data, evaluate the model against the original data set, evaluate the model against the validation data set, ingest and prepare a data set. Now, first step is to load and prepare your data before any analysis or model building. This step involves importing the data set and performing any necessary data transformation such as normalization or handling missing values. Now friends, after preparing the data set, it should be split into two subsets, training data and validation data. Training data is used to train the model and validation data is used to evaluate how well the model performs on data it hasn't seen during training. This is followed by training the model. In this step, the model learns patterns from the training data and finally you evaluate the model against the validation data. This helps determine how well the model generalizes to new unseen data. Now, folks, evaluating the model on the original data set can lead to overfitting and doesn't give a realistic view of how the model will perform on new or unseen data. This is why we never do that in real life scenarios. Next question. Select the answer that correctly completes the sentence. In a machine learning model, the data that is used as input are called. Your options are data set, labels, variables. Now friends, input data is called as variable. Data set refers to the entire collection of data used for training or testing the model and labels refers to the output or target variables that the model is trying to predict or classify based on the input variables. Question number 51. You need to create a customer support solution to help customers access information. The solution must support email, phone, and live chat channels. Which type of AI solutions should you use? Your options are machine learning, computer vision, chatbot, natural language processing. Now folks, a chatbot is the most appropriate solution for building a customer support system that supports multiple channels like email, phone, and live chat. Now, chatbots can integrate with various communication platforms to assist customers by providing automatic responses, answering frequently asked questions, and facilitating interactions without requiring human intervention. Next question. You use Azure Machine Learning Designer to build a model pipeline. What should you create before you can run the pipeline? Your options are a registered model, a compute resource, a Jupyter notebook. Folks, before you can run a pipeline in Azure Machine Learning Designer, you must have a compute resource set up. This compute is needed to execute the training and testing of your model and run any data preparation or transformation steps in your pipeline. So folks, that's all for this part of the series. I'll see you soon in next part of our Microsoft Certified Azure AI Fundamentals Ultimate course.